Okay, yeah. Hello, my name is Mary Claire and my senior thesis studies crystal structure in a new model involving objects called perforated tableau. I expanded upon research done by Dr. Glenn Appleby and Dr. Tamsin McGinley in the maths department, investigating new combinatorial modeling for crystals that is easier to study and read information from. Crystals are used in the study of representation theory and other areas of algebra, combinatorics, and geometry. In my thesis, I proved that the perforated tableau model satisfies the Stembridge crystal axioms. To introduce some basic definitions, perforated tableau, called p-tableau, are rectangular tables composed of positive integer content and blank spaces, fulfilling the requirement that content in rows weakly increases and content in columns strictly increases. Row equivalent perforated tableau have the same content in the rows with a different valid distribution in the columns. The p-tableau below are all row equivalent and transforming into the left justified form where all content is pushed as far left as possible while maintaining column strictness. The EI operator on perforated tableau that I studied, shown below, essentially identifies where content in row I plus one can be moved up into row I, and then proceeds to swap that content with the covering blank above it. In a crystal structure, EI connects P tableau T to EI of T, and so crystals look like rooted P tableau moving up to new P tableau by applying different E operators until no more content can be swapped. Here I have included the Stembridge crystal axioms in the theorem that perforated tableau under the EI operator satisfy the axioms, which I prove in my thesis. The underlying question I was asked to verify in my proofs was when P tableau have certain properties in their max count, what can we say about the crystal substructure? To analyze all possible potential layouts of content in P tableau, my proofs involve many cases. Full proofs and lemmas are found in my thesis and my poster features an excerpt case from axiom two. Through multiple lemmas and through multiple lemmas about the effects of left justification and many proofs by many cases, I was able to show that the EI operators on p-tableau move content in such a way that preserves max count properties desired to satisfy the Stembridge crystal axioms. Therefore, the perforated tableau model can be used to study objects represented by this type of crystal. I would like to thank my advisors, Dr. Tamsin McGinley and Dr. Glenn Appleby for the opportunity to learn about their fields of research and for giving me an interesting problem to work on. I would also like to thank Dr. Naomi Andrews and Claire Shaw for their leadership in the University Honors Program and their mentorship and support over the past four years. And thank you for listening to my presentation.